Now I've just moved the oil tank about 80 feet that way. We've got a brand new oil line, uh, we've got a full tank, but there's only air in the line. I'm going to sort all that out now. We're going to fire this up for the first time. When I put this on, nothing happens. I'm going to show you how I fix that. Here we go. Now this isn't in a great spot for me to show you stuff, but I'll do my best. Now we have a brand new oil line going all the way back in one piece. There's no joints on it. It goes about 80 feet up a wall, across under the wall and into the tank. That's just the way they want it done here. It's kind of, they're going to clad some stone in front of it. In any case, right, I want to fire this up and get the heat going for them for this evening. So what have I got to do? I've got to let the, uh, the air out of the line. Now I could do that by opening this, but I'm going to speed things up a little bit by cracking open the nut here. So look, I'm just going to crack this. This is outdoors, so it doesn't matter if I spill some. So look, we'll just crack this and we'll let the air out. Hopefully it flows now, there's an airlock. No, it's moving. So I know it's moving because, you know, when I hold it here, let the pressure build up. And maybe you can hear that. You know, you hear it. Oops. Like on a Coke bottle or something. There we go. Right, so. Now, this is rough and ready. That's because this is outside, I don't mind, you know. So that's all the air out of the line. The, the line is brand new and uh, we've let all the air out of it. But we haven't let the air out of the burner yet. So this is a fire valve here on this one. If there was a fire, there's kind of solder in the lid and the shaft is spring loaded. The solder melts and the shaft slams shut. Right, there's other ways of doing it, but that's, that was uh, the way this was put in. Okay, so we need to let air out of this, but we also need to give it a chance to come out by raising it a little bit. So here we go, we've got an Allen key. And we'll just crack that. Now we know we've got pressure all the way to here, but what we need is we need the oil coming out of this. You can see some froth. We want a fairly decent flow or it'll airlock. Now because of the, see the way the, uh, the hose is kind of wrapped around this? There's, there's a good chance it would airlock at that point. No, we've got good flow there. And we want it all out. No wear in there at all. There we go now. Okay, so we purged the line now, all the air is out. Now, I wasn't afraid to kind of spill it. This place is getting um, tarmac or something like that over the, over the area. So, you know, it's not like it's a finished floor or something like that. Um, so that's it. This boiler badly needs a service, but that's not gonna happen today. So we've got the air out. Now, if I hit the button, So just to recap on this, very often if you've run out of oil, um, you know, the system won't kick in again because you've sucked air down the line and that air needs to get out. Generally, if your tank is done right, if your tank is higher than your oil line, the, uh, the oil wants to flow, the kerosene or diesel or whatever you've got, wants to come down the line and get out. You know, it pushes the air in front of it. So this is a, like a bleed screw here on this thing. And you can just crack it. And it... And look, you can see the kerosene running out of that. If I take it out just so you can see it. Okay. No need to wind it all the way out. So just tightening it in. Now you don't need to go nuts tightening that in. It's got a lowering or a gasket at the end of it. 
and when you tighten it that's it it's, it's in but you don't need to go savage if it's still leaking after that you've got problems this particular setup has a, a fire valve here it's got a an oil filter and then it's your braided um oil line this is low pressure so this one is um geared up and ready to go um another thing you can check if you know if you're having trouble with it is that your photo cell is clean you know you can just clean it off with a bit of cloth and uh, just pop it back in now if the photo cell can see light um you know if it's on a bright day it can get enough light through it and what will happen is if it can see the light it won't start so getting dull here now so it should kick off just move that so you can see the flame and that's it i have it working for tonight this is just to get them going the nozzle needs to be changed i need to set the pressures and so on now i'm just literally going to put this back in the boiler hit the button and go <laughs> so there's not a lot to put in this back in it's on a flexible line it's got a um, you know, power cable going with it. Just move the wires out of the way. Show you the setup. Now there's a little nut here. And that's literally all that holds the burner in into the plate now that's more or less it for tonight I'm just going to hit the on button make sure it fires up I'm going to get some tissue now dry everything off make sure it stays dry 20 second purge time there or thereabouts and that's it the boiler's making heat now <laughs> I'm going to dry it off now but I'm going to leave it there for now if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe down here see you in the next video bye for now good luck